Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellie and this is Planning and Finances. And today I have a budget video on how to get started and how to get over those little obstacles that can trip people up when they are starting to budget. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to go through a basic budget with you today that I've drawn up to show you the process of putting a budget together. So here I have a budget that I put together. I'm going to start with the income. So even if you're paid weekly, I would multiply it by four to get your monthly amount because most bills are coming out monthly. And this, what we're doing in this section of the budget is just to see what your income is compared to your expenses. So we're not looking at cutting everything straight away. At the moment, we're just looking at where we are. So I have here paycheck 500 euro by four, which gives us 2000 euro. I have children's allowance here, and this is for two kids. So it's 140 for a child, and I have it down as 280 euro. So we're going to add that up and it comes to 2,280 euro. Now if you have any other income, you will put it in this area here. And when I'm doing a budget though, I would only use guaranteed income. I wouldn't be like, oh, sometimes I get extra money. I would just have this as guaranteed income. Next up, we have like our fixed expenses. So we have our rent or our mortgage, which is 700 euro. We have ESB, gas and waste. And I've taken average figures for these here. You might also have water, you could have council taxes, you could have other utilities that you would have to pay and they would go under here as well. I've got TV and broadband for 60 euro, a phone for 20 euro and childcare for 400 euro. Now, as I said, if you have any more fixed expenses, you can put them in here. So these expenses totaled up to 1,320 euro. Now, normally when you're doing a budget, these will be the main bulk of your budget. These will probably be the largest expenses. So that leaves us with 960 euro for the rest of the items that we need in a month. So next up is food. I've put down food for 400 euro. So that's 100 euro roughly a week. I have petrol for 30 euro a week. So multiplied by four gives me 120 euro. I've just got miscellaneous in there just for bits and bobs that might pop up through the month and like a buffer to have in the account. That's 100 euro. There's Netflix, Spotify, if you've Amazon Prime, any other subscriptions that are direct debits that are going to come out of your bank account. I have put these in this area. And that comes to 647 euro. So that would leave us with 313 euro left to spend for the month after we have paid for everything. But when we look at that, we think that's great. We're covering our bills and that is great. This budget does cover the bills. You could do out your budget and it could be that your expenses are way higher than your bills. And this happens on a lot of occasions. But we look at this budget and we see that there's 313 left. But you see we have sinking funds, debt, savings fund, clothes, birthdays. These are all things that haven't been accounted for. And 313 euro left at the end of the month is also not a lot to cover these items. So this is just a rough estimate and this will let you see an average position that you're in. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get your actual figures because I can probably guarantee you that you spend way more than 100 euro a week on food and you probably spend more on petrol, fun, different things that pop up during the month that ends up putting your expenses way, way higher than you think. And this is what happens when a lot of people are like, I don't know where my money goes every month. So what I would suggest is do out a template budget like this one and then during the month track all your expenses. So I would start and I would just have a notebook and pen 
and I'm going to put up a picture here. This is one that I started tracking and I post it on Instagram every day or every second day. And it's for no spend timber. But what I'm doing is I'm writing down every single transaction that we do in the month. And I have it as a date, a shop, the item, category and how much it was for. And I'd suggest then at the end of the week, getting different color highlighters and highlighting for a, diff a different color for each category and reconciling that at the end of the week to see how much you actually spent, say, on food in a week. I would also put down on this your direct debits and anything else that came out. So then at the end of the month, you can add up every single transaction in the column and get a total at the bottom to see how much you've spent. And then you can see, is that more than your income or is it less than your income? And this will be the start of getting a budget together. Once you know this information, you'll then know where you need to cut out um, or do you need to make more income. But this is a great start. After this, then, once you know the information, you can start working out other things in your budget, like how to cut your utility costs. So. I did a video there the other week on how I reduced our ESB and our gas costs. I'll leave that linked up here. And you can also look at sinking funds and how you're going to start putting sinking funds together to save for those yearly expenses, as we call them, so that you don't end up really stuck one month. So if you have never done a budget, maybe this month is the time to start. And if you would like another example of a budget, I also have put up my August budget up here on YouTube, which will give you an example of how I break down our household costs. So if you found this video useful, please give it the thumbs up. It really helps with YouTube pushing this video out for other people to see and hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. So until next time, take care. Bye.